I feel like games now, I feel like they're not made to, you know, please the gamers. They're just there to please the businessmen behind the games. I feel like games are just ripping off customers too much with day one DLC. Um, you know, I feel like games are broken up into different pieces and sold back to um, customers. It's like Battlefront. That feels like, for me, that they developed the season pass and they broke that up and they're selling it back to us. That's just how it feels, just because there is little content in the base game. That's just how I feel. I know a lot of people... It's like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding you. I've seen this comment on the Battlefront Twitter when people complain about the season pass. I've seen some idiot say, but the developers, they've got to eat. They've got to eat. You can't deny them that. It's like, it's like they're not making flipping millions of pounds off these games, is it? I know they spend millions to make these games, but it's not like they're making a profit off the base game. Um, I know games do, um, you know, cost a lot more to make nowadays, and maybe the price of games um, doesn't really f reflect that um, jump in the cost for development. But I don't know. It just feels like we're getting less, less than the amount of game. But we have to spend more to actually get it compared to what we had back on the PS2. That's just that's just how I feel. Like I said, I just don't feel like the PS4 is better than the PS2. I just don't feel like the games are there now. I just don't feel like the variety is there compared to previously. It's like I loved football management games on the PS2. There was loads of them. You had like Premier Manager. You had. Um, another one, I can't remember what it's called, but you had LMA Manager as well. Um, you had This Is Football, you had all the other stuff. But now, the only football game out there, or the only two football games, are PES and FIFA. It's just, there is just a lack of variety at this moment in time in the gaming industry. Um, I just don't feel like there is the amount of games there compared to, like, previously. It's like... I miss I miss my licensed games. I really do. Um, it's like I I played The Incredibles on a PS2. That was really really good. Um, you know, Simpsons. You had like King Kong. You had so many licensed games. You had James Bond as well. And I definitely miss those licensed games. I really do. Um, I I feel like it's like Peter Moore. He came out and said we will never make a you know Force Awakens game based on the movie. I'd actually prefer that, especially to what they did to Battlefront. I really would love to see a Force Awakens game based on the movie. It's like, I'd have loved to have played a game based on Skyfall and Spectre. It really would, but unfortunately, licensed games aren't a thing now. It's like, I played, like, The Phantom Menace on the PS1. I can remember getting stuck on Darth Maul. And then I went round to my mate's house. And he said, oh, go to this corner of the room. There's a secret health pack there. And that literally just, like, blew my mind. And that was like, oh, my God, that's why I've struggled to, to you know, to defeat Darth Maul. That's why I've struggled to do that. Really did enjoy Phantom Menace on the PS1. I don't think there was an Attack of the Clones game um, based on the movie. But I do believe there was a Revenge of the Sith game. Did enjoy playing that. So... It's just a massive shame that we aren't getting like games based on movies now. So, like I said, I would have, I would have loved to have played a game based on Spectre and Skyfall. Definitely would have loved that. But unfortunately, James Bond, I don't think he'll ever come back. The license is still up in the air. Nobody's picking it up, which is which is just a massive shame. I really did enjoy playing GoldenEye Wii, the multiplayer mode for that. Really did enjoy that. So, it's a massive shame that... Um, you know, the, the the James Bond games aren't a thing anymore. Um, so, yeah, I, I just don't feel like gaming is as good as what it used to be. Maybe it's just me being nos nostalgic, but, you know, modern day practices like Day One DLC and how broken these games are at launch, um, especially earlier on this generation, it's amazing how, you know, the PS4 is selling the amount it is just because of the amount of stuff that is going on in terms of broken games and you know the games that do feel like they are being broken up but yeah that's why i go back to the wii u the wii u you know how many broken games have we had at launch i can't really name any off the top of my head it's like dlc that we've had 
um, for Nintendo games definitely are worth it. It's like Mario Kart DLC, really, really good. Um, Splatoon, we're getting free DLC all of the time. You've got Smash Brothers as well. I definitely feel like the Wii U has handled DLC properly. I think the Wii U has been the best in terms of DLC, whereas the other consoles, it just feels like we're getting less of the amount of content that we used to have, but we have to pay more to actually get um, that content. It just seems that's how it is nowadays. It just seems like games are being broken up. We're getting less, less content in these games, but we have to pay more to get that content. That's just how it feels. Um, so yeah, that's in terms. That's it in terms of DLC talk. The other thing that's annoying me at this moment in time about the gaming industry is how you can flip in pre-order season passes before the actual games come out. It's like I think it was in October. It may have been September time. Um, when Uncharted 4, when it did get delayed. Naughty Dog, a few days later, came out and said, oh, you can pre-order the season pass now as well. It's like, what? That is just bonkers. It's, it's like, I shouldn't... That's just, that is just ridiculous, in my opinion. You shouldn't have to pay for the season pass, pre-order for the season pass, before the games actually came out. Why hasn't that content been included in the main game, in the base game then? That's just how I feel. Apparently there's going to be story DLC for Uncharted 4. You're going to have microtransactions in the multiplayer as well. You just know that Uncharted 4 is going to have a cliffhanger at the end of its story and you have to pay more to actually find out what happens in the actual story. They'll break up half the story into you know, the season pass. It's like pre-order, like announcing you can pre-order for the season pass before the games actually came out. In terms of Uncharted situation, they announced that at the back end of 2015. So that's about six months before the games actually come out. Pre-ordering for season passes, that, I can understand it after the games come out. But before the games come out, for me, that just seems, you know, the alarm bell's ringing for me. That just suggests for me that they've, developed that content already and they broke up you know that part of the content instead of including it in the base game why not put it in a season pass where we can get more money out of customers that's just how it feels and that's just like i said before it just feels like gaming is for the businessmen now i know gaming is a really successful business i do believe it's more successful than the movie industry but I feel like it has crossed that line. I feel like it is milking gamers too much nowadays. That's just how I feel. It's not for the gamer. It's not It's not about making content for the gamer. I just feel like the line has been crossed and it's basically gaming now is just to get as much money out of us as possible. That's just how it feels. Yeah, I've talked way too much about the negative side of gaming. Don't get me wrong. There are some really, really... Like bright sparks in the gaming industry at this moment in time. It's like on the PS4 side, I'm really looking forward to playing Horizon, especially after playing Xenoblade Chronicles X. I'm getting more into open world games and I'm really looking forward to the story for Horizon. I really am attracted to that sort of story, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing that. I've got GTA 5 from the PS4, definitely I'm looking forward to playing that. Wii U, Splatoon. Xenoblade Chronicles X, I'm looking forward to playing Pokemon Tournament, Hyrule Warriors was an absolute blast, you got Fast Face and Neo, um, so you know, not everything is negative in terms of the gaming industry today, but in terms of the current state of gaming, I definitely feel like it is worse than when I first got into gaming in the PS1 and PS2 time. For me, the PS2 is the best console um, that's ever come out. The amount of games, the variety of games on that system, I don't think we'll ever see that sort of thing again, and which is a massive, massive shame. It's like, it's like going back to Star Wars. It's like you had many different companies developing Star Wars games. Now, Disney, Disney have given exclusive rights to EA, so we probably will get less games um, in terms of Star Wars, but in terms of the whole gaming industry, we definitely are getting less games for genres. That's just how it feels like. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like the PS4 has the most hyped games, but I feel like the Wii U 
has the better games games library. I really do feel that way. Um, I, I know a lot of people disagree with me, but it's not the Wii U doesn't have these third party games. How can you say that? But for me, I rather play. I, I think Xenoblade Chronicles X is a lot better than some of the games that are on the PS4, like The Division, like the flipping you know, Black Ops 3, like all those other hyped games, um, Destiny, like, all, all those hyped games. I feel like, you know, they are overhyped, but I feel like games like Xenoblade Chronicles X, Splatoon, well, Splatoon has got quite a lot of hype, but I feel like games on the Wii U don't get that hype just because they are on the Wii U system and everybody loves to hate on the Wii U. Everybody loves to you know, neglect the Wii U and look down on it. So that's why I never talk about Wii U games. But games on the PS4, people talk about it for days. It's like the hype up these games. You see, like these gaming media, they spend ages. Like they do loads and loads and flipping loads of articles on PS4 games, hyping them up. And you see gamers hyping these PS4 games up, but you never see people do that for the Wii U. Definitely not as much. Definitely not to the scale as what people do it on the PS4. One last thing that I want to talk about before I end this video is microtransactions on console games and in games that are full price as well not free to play games like free to play games i can understand but we're seeing time and time again microtransactions in AAA games like call of duty and we're seeing microtransactions in full price games it shouldn't be happening i can remember a few years ago when mobile gaming was starting to take off there was microtransactions um, in their games and people were worried about it moving over to consoles but then you had other people saying oh don't worry about it it'll never come over to consoles but fast forward to 2016 and we're getting flipping loads of games with microtransactions it's just like I said many times throughout this video it's just another way to milk more and more money out of us it's just absolutely ridiculous it's like that sort of stuff before were unlocks in games. It's like camos for guns. You used to be able to, you know, play a certain amount of time with that gun and then you unlock that camo. Now it's all about, oh, pay two ninety nine to get this camo unlocked. It's, it shouldn't be happening, it really shouldn't. It's just that's just the way gaming is unfortunate nowadays. Sick of these microtransactions in full price games, they shouldn't be happening. I can understand with free to play games because they need to make the money back. But with full price games, with DLC, season passes and all that sort of stuff as well, that that is just ridiculous. There's no excuse to do microtransactions on top of that sort of stuff as well. Like I said before, back in back in the day, there was no microtransactions and you used to be able to unlock that sort of stuff like new skins for your characters new like camouflage for your weapons new camos it's just, nowadays it's all about all oh, pay 2 99 to get it it's just absolutely ridiculous i'm not a fan of it at all microtransactions need to go but they won't go because unfortunately gamers are lapping this up now it's like in call of duty black ops 3 they're flipping doing supply drops where you know pay you got you, have, you pay and you get more of a chance of getting those sort of weapons. I've heard that if you've got those crypto keys, it's way harder to get the weapons that they've been adding in than the um, Call of Duty points that you, you can buy from PSN Store and Xbox Live and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's just the way the game is going. I can see supply drops staying in Call of Duty because Activision are flipping loving it, especially the shareholders. And investors people are willing to spend five hundred dollars just to get a flipping range or a flipping weapon they're loving it over Activision and unfortunately that's those people doing that sort of stuff only encourages more and more developers to do the same sort of thing so when Activision came out a few weeks ago and said oh we were surprised by how well the supply drops are doing in advanced warfare and um, Black Ops 3, you know that other developers were looking at Activision and maybe they were thinking, right, in our next Battlefield game, instead of, you know, we're, we're going to charge for flipping battle packs if they don't already. Or in, in our next game, we're going to do more microtransactions. Like FIFA, they, 
they did those packs. You're gonna be, it's just, it's just gonna be expanding, unfortunately. Um, it's like in Splatoon that if that was a triple A game, you would have had to pay for like new gear. It's just not on. It really isn't on. It's just I'm not a fan of it at all, as you can tell. It, it's just all about keeping the investors happy nowadays, isn't it? Really, it's not about the gamers. It's about the investors. It's about making as much money out of us as possible. Gaming really, it's it's not really for the gamers anymore. That's just what I'm saying in this video. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I know it has been largely negative. I'm sure some people will ask me, Snorf, you sound like you're falling out of love with gaming. You sound like you're not really that passionate about gaming anymore. That is the total opposite. I'm still loving gaming. There's still experiences like Splatoon, Zelda Braid Chronicles X and other games. You know, I'm still enjoying gaming, but I'm just not a fan of where gaming is heading. I feel like that you can sit here. I, f I feel like that you can actually criticise the gaming industry and still be a fan of playing games. And that's just that's just my current situation at this moment in time. I, I still love playing games, but I'm just not really a fan of the industry surrounding games. That's just how I feel. I'm just not a fan of practices like announcing a game and then on the same day announcing that the game has a season pass. I feel like you should wait until the actual game comes out and then announce that your game has a season pass. Um, it just it just feels like it, like in getting modern day games, it just feels like we're getting less content all the time. It just feels like the focus is solely on the graphics and not on gameplay and the amount of content in the game. It just feels like that companies just want to get as much money out of us as possible. That's just how it feels for me. I'm sure you lot will have a different opinion to me, so please feel free to share your opinion about my thoughts on the current state of gaming in the comment section below. We're going to have different opinions. It's natural. It's completely natural with two totally different people, but you know, please feel free to air your thoughts in the comment section below. But please be respectful of my opinion and I'll be respectful of yours. If you've got different opinions, then I like to have a bit of debate. So you probably will see me debating in the comment section. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, to summarise, I'm not really a big fan of where gaming is heading at this moment in time. I feel like the industry was better back in the PS2 days where we had a lot of variety of games. We didn't just we didn't we didn't just have if I can get my words out, we didn't just we didn't just have can't flip and speak. Definitely it's time for me to end this video. But we had more variety in games. We didn't just have like one Star Wars game or two with the Lego Star Wars. We had loads and loads and loads of Star Wars games. We had licensed games. We had loads of football games and not just FIFA and Pro Evolution Soccer and Football Manager for the PC. We had loads and loads of games and gaming back in the PS2 days, it wasn't just about the graphics, maybe because they were limited on what hardware, you know, on the hardware that they were using, maybe they focused more on the gameplay and getting the amount of content in those games that they did back then because the PS2 games did have a lot of value for money and I just feel like games nowadays, it's just it, it just, it doesn't really feel like the base game is worth it anymore. That's just how it feels. But then again, on the flip side, maybe gaming, um, I said this before earlier in this video, but maybe games, you know, cost way too much to develop nowadays. And maybe the price for the base game um, doesn't really reflect that hike in the um, price it takes to make these modern day games but I'm just not a fan of what it seems like what they're doing how they are breaking up you know content from the main game and put, putting it into a season pass I'm, I'm just not a fan of that at all but yeah I'm, I still love gaming you, you wouldn't see any gaming videos from me if it wasn't a fan of gaming I'm still loving playing games like Splatoon, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Minecraft you know I play a bit of you know, PC um, games here and there. Um, so I'm still a massive fan of gaming. I still am. I'm looking forward to what the NX will be. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, when that will get revealed. 
So I'm still a massive fan of gaming, it's just that I'm not really a fan of the politics behind it. And that's just my opinion at this moment in time. So, yeah, that is it for this video. I might have split this video up into two parts just because of how long this video might be. Um, so if I have, then I must thank you all for watching both parts. But if it, if, if it is one massive video, then I really must appreciate, you know, I really must say that I appreciate you spending time out of your day to watch this massive long video. So, yeah, that is it for me. I've got plenty more gaming content coming from myself, coming onto this channel soon. So if you're interested in gaming content, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm I'm like a flipping Swiss Army knife when it when it comes to gaming content. I've got a large variety of content, and that will continue on my channel. So that is it for this video. It's just been me having a bit of a rant. Um, I must apologise if you are sick of me. You know, ranting and that but I don't really do it that often um, so I just wanted to get everything off my chest um, so this video has been in the works since December last year so yeah it's just something which I've definitely wanted to get off my chest and I'm really really glad that I've done that um, so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below but until next time I'm out of here for now thank you for watching goodbye